Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Like Sam Rule. The guy gave me an hand in this episode. We're going to go down and fix up our horde base and then do the horde night. Uh, one of you guys mentioned to me in the comments that if I left my motorcycle on the elevator, logged out, and logged back in, it would fall through. That has not happened. That doesn't mean it won't happen, but it didn't happen this time, so that's good. Um, I have uh, a bunch of stuff in my inventory. We are overloaded, but we need to take uh, this stuff over to uh, the horde base to get it fixed up so that gets us back in good shape there all right let's head on down to floor one so we'll get that thing fixed up and then probably i'll probably just cut the camera um until the horde night starts depending upon you know how our time goes and whatnot okay floor one All right, let's see, what do we got in here? We've got some of those and some of those and some of those. Uh, let's grab this wire. I don't know if we're gonna need it or not. I guess we already have a wiring tool. And we'll put half of the steel, half of that and half of there and there to lighten up and maybe half of that. Okay. So let's see what has to happen here. Um, I know that they breached the the roof here last time so what we're gonna do is patch this up let's do um copy shape and i might um i might put one there too just to help kind of reinforce that a little bit and let's make all of that stuff titanium at least yeah maybe this one too and then we'll get all this repaired looks like our steel hatches are in pretty good condition there's a lot of damage in here that we got to deal with none of it too major though Got a spider on the loose. How's our thumper looking? He's about half. Okay, yeah, we'll, uh, I think we'll just keep him as he is. The, you know, the sledge turret is use is useful, but not essential. So if it actually went out, it's not like, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, be compromised on the base um, so I'd rather not burn another repair kit on that right now okay so does that make everything inside of the cage area here all repaired it looks like it does okay let's um take a look look see out here that needs a little attention um, that's actually fine. It, it's a little damaged, but we're gonna leave it the way it is. Got a little damage out here. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that either. Okay. I, I mean, you know, we do have plenty of titanium, actually. It's steel that we're a little bit lighter on. It all looks to be in good shape out there. As soon as I get to the point where I have, oh crap, enough steel, I need to upgrade these blocks kind of around the cage there because they usually take a pretty big hit, you know, when a demo goes off. And we'll probably get lots of demos on the Horde Knight. Okay, so it looks like everything in and around the, the cage here is in good shape. Uh, let's go down the ladder and just check things down here. Ooh, that's had a lot of damage. Okay, we gotta go get some more titanium for that. That's all the titanium plating I currently have, so we're gonna have to, uh, 
looks like that needs a little attention as well. Uh, I might actually go back to the base and make some more titanium plating. I've got I got tons of titanium, you know, like ingots and stuff. I just need to make them into plates. So it's not like we're short on it, but okay. Let's go down the ladder here and just make sure the ladder's in good shape. That needs a little attention. Touch the bridge up. In fact, let's check the pathway too. And oh, and make sure it's in good shape. Get the hell out of here. Need a little bit of TLC on here. That needs some scrap iron. How's our actual path here? Though? Seems to be in pretty good shape all the way out to the street. Okay. Where are you, Zombo? We woke a Zombo up somewhere. Where'd he go? There he is. Have a twofer. Okay. Um, that's not super critical that we get that repaired, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape. Um, so I'm going to go back to the base, and I'm going to make some more titanium plating for repairs. Did we look at this uh, stuff out here? That needs a little bit of a touch-up. What the hell was that shadow? Uh, a little bit along here, too, actually, I guess. Mostly just surface damage. Okay. How are we doing on our, our um, it's got 32 things of ammo. We should probably make some more junk turn ammo. How are we doing on this? Uh, let's put a little more fuel in there too. That should be good. All right, all of this repairing stuff, we're going to keep here. Bricks, the wires, the titanium plate that we currently have, we'll put in there. Um, I'm a little bit low on ammo. So we might want to see if we can make a little bit more of that before the Horde Night starts, too. Well, there's our spider friend. Sounds like there's footprints somewhere. I don't know. Wherever. Whatever. Wherever, whatever. I don't care. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to make some more titanium plating and see if I can get a little more ammo made up. And uh, I will bring you guys back. I'll meet you guys back here right before the start of the Horde Night. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, we're back. And uh, Horde Night's about ready to start. Uh, I think we'll be fine tonight as long as uh, we don't get a bunch of demo explosions. Uh, we'll probably get a bunch of demos, but I'm going to try and be as careful as I can be uh, and not... Um, you know, not let them blow up any more than necessary. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn on the generator. So we get the electric fences going. There we go. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm probably just going to uh, time lapse the whole the whole thing because you know we, we've we've done this many times now. Uh, but I will show you the whole night. But we're just going to do it in time lapse mode. So hope you guys enjoy the time lapse, and I will see you in the morning, hopefully uh, in one piece. Let's do this.
morning i've had uh some pretty bad luck with demos tonight we've had like three or four explosions go off but i've managed to uh keep everything intact we did have one block go out 
Uh, but I was able to patch it back up again. Oh shit, there goes another one. Okay, well, fortunately the Horde Knight's almost over. I mean, it is over, but the Horde keeps coming for a little bit longer. Uh, so let's just make sure everything stays intact here. Yeah, that was, um... That was a pretty intense Horde Knight, uh, I gotta tell you. Um, our little design here is being pushed to its limits. So I don't know what we're gonna, you know, what we need to do next. Uh, maybe double it up or something, I don't know. But, you know, it, it's always the demos that are the problem. Which is, you know, no surprise, of course. The rest of the zombies are not, not a big deal, but those demolo you know, demolishers, when they blow up, just cause all kinds of problems. And, you know, I think my Molotov set them off. I, I, I know the pipe bombs will occasionally set them off. So it's really difficult, you know, to not get them to blow up. But, you, you know, I got to deal with them, though, too. I can't just not do anything, you know, so a challenge. It is a challenge. I think we still, yeah, we still do have one, one more demolisher in here. All right. How far along is he? Oh, he's almost dead. Okay. Throw another pipe bomb at him. Got him. Okay. Whew. So that kit should take care of the demolishers. I don't know if we have any stragglers left or not. Let's just... Yeah, I still hear a few more. So yeah, still a few more down there. Just we'll let them come on up. Looks like our sledge turret is, is completely damaged. Get out of here. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, let's drink something. We're quite thirsty here. And um, I'm going to take a sham chowder for healing as much as anything. And let's also throw back this red tea. All right. Um... Let's turn off the Jenny and put a few things in here. Oh boy, yeah, that was a that was a pretty crazy horde night. It was indeed. We'll put that in there too. We'll put the electrical parts in there. Okay, let's go check the loots. Um, starting with this one, and I do have um, an eye candy too, so let's take that. Ah, I guess I have two eye candies. I must have looted one of those or something. Eh, well, the military fiber's nice. Okay, so these blocks I never really got to as far as repairing, but they're still, still intact. Okay. We have a, looks like five or six blue drops down there. That's kind of a nice find. Uh, all right, let's go grab those real quick. Yeah, so guys, I'm not I'm not so sure um, how much longer this specific design, as it currently is, is going to hold up. We might have to come up with um, a new a new horde night plan, or at least significantly uh, reinforce this one. It's worked great up to, you know, up to this point, of course, but it's just starting to get to be a little bit much, I think. I suppose we could double up on the titanium. That is one option. That's a more... Oh, okay, there we go. That's probably the best thing we found. Got another blue drop here. Iron helmet, okay. That's uh, good. 
Hazmat gloves. I need the hazmat chest piece. Alright, overall, nothing to write home to mother about. Um, okay. So, yeah, we might, uh, like I said, we might need to rethink this for the next horde night. Um, uh, we could add the spike traps back in, but the spike traps were, were kind of hard to keep, keep repaired. They, they take damage real fast. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we'll try this one more time, you know, or, or keep trying it until it utterly fails. And then after that, you know, then we will, we'll be forced to come up with a new plan. It didn't utterly fail. You know, uh, one thing I need to do though is I need to keep concrete blocks on my toolbar to patch those holes. Um, you know, fortunately I had some in the, the chest that I was able to get to, but, um, it'd be better to have them on the toolbar so that way I can patch it immediately. Okay. Well, anyway, that uh, wraps up Horde Night 119. So we have seven days of a reprieve here. And my number one priority right now is to uh, to go mining uh, because we are we're very low on on concrete, you know, supplies in particular. But we're also pretty low on uh, iron and steel as well. So I think, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, might be a little shorter than normal, but that's okay because I also do long episodes sometimes. And uh, I'm going to just go mine, and then when I'm done mining, I'm going to do some mining. And then after I'm finished with that mining, I'm going to go do some mining. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, just get our resources built back up, and then when I, I'm ready, I'll bring you back. And we will uh, continue with our... Our build here of the Deshong Tower and all the cool stuff that we're doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.